Today we're going to show you how to improve your side view and clear view sonar image using the sonar settings of the chart plotter. When on the water, changing water conditions can have a significant impact on the clarity of a sonar reading or its ability to display targets of certain sizes. Some sonar settings can be adjusted to compensate for this. Make one change at a time to see how the image is affected before making another. First, select Sonar on the chart plotter. Then, select Side View. Clear View and Side View Sonar uses a thin, wide beam to provide clear images of structure and fish below the boat, as opposed to the cone-shaped beam used by traditional Chirp traditional sonar. Before troubleshooting the sonar on Side View and Clear View, Disable the zoom or bottom lock by selecting menu for echo maps and options for GPS maps. You can toggle the zoom setting on and off after adjusting sonar settings. The zoom setting can always be turned back on if using this feature after adjusting sonar settings. Side view and clear view have many options that can be adjusted to improve a distorted sonar image. Brightness helps by adjusting the level of detail. You can lower the brightness to see the highest intensity signal returns on and to remove lower intensity returns and noise. You can increase the brightness to see all returns. This will also increase noise and can make it more difficult to recognize actual returns. Select Done once you have made your adjustment. You can also adjust contrast. This setting is used to change the color intensity and highlight areas of interest. Increase the contrast setting if you want to highlight smaller fish targets or create a higher intensity display of a target. Reduce the contrast to reduce the intensity of the return. You can change the color scheme from the appearance settings. This sets the color scheme to the sonar view with over 15 different color schemes to choose from. Depth line adds a quick reference depth line to the sonar image. Range Lines shows the vertical lines indicating the distance to the right and left of the boat. This setting is only available for side view sonar. You can now adjust the Noise Reject settings. Interference and TVG can be adjusted. Interference reduces the effects of interference from nearby sources of noise, such as a trolling motor. You should use the lowest interference setting possible. If the highest interference setting does not resolve the issue, the transducer installation may need to be adjusted. TVG, or Time Varying Gain, reduces surface noise and the appearance of returns to compensate for weak sonar signals in deeper water. Increased TVG will make the colors associated with fish targets and low-level noise appear more consistent in various depths. Clearview Sonar will have an additional noise reject setting called Surface Noise. This option can be toggled on or off. Surface Noise hides noise on the surface to reduce clutter on the sonar display. Some transducers give the option to change the frequency to get better returns in certain water conditions or for targets at certain depths. The lower the frequency, the deeper the sonar's range. The higher the frequency, the clearer the image. Higher frequency sonar readings can compensate for surface turbulence. The sonar settings on the marine device can be restored to their factory defaults if necessary. For GPS map options, select Side View Setup or Clear View Setup, Installation, and then Restore Sonar Defaults. And that's it. Thanks for watching. For more help, please visit marinesupport.garmin.com.